Today on Roast Beards and Gear, we check out the C1 EX Apocalypse baritone guitar from Schechter. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you may remember me using uh, a baritone Schechter SLX EX guitar. It was flat black. I had it ever tuned at some point and I used that guitar for literally everything for a few years. And that guitar is one that I do still own. However, uh, it's kind of a victim of too many uh, pickup demos and just, you know, a lot of the screw holes are stripped out. It's kind of a worn out guitar. It is functional. However, I really was looking for another baritone guitar for uh, pickup demos specifically because I do have a uh, baritone Ernie Ball Music Man. However, that has a direct mount Fishman um, pickup system in it. And that is not something that's really friendly to putting pickups in and out all the time or multiple times for that matter. So it made sense to look back to Schechter for another baritone guitar for pickup demos. And the C1 EX Apocalypse fit the bill nicely. Now, I originally wrote this channel's theme song, which I used to call Failed, the intro song, on that original baritone EX. So I thought it would be cool to revisit the theme song using this baritone, which is tuned to drop A, and I will be plugging in to my Mesa Boogie JP2C. And you know what? I'm not gonna use the built-in boost because I don't have to. I'm going to use a $40 Boss Super Overdrive pedal for the hell of it because I can going into the front of the JP2C and that is going into a Mesa Boogie 212 cabinet in the next room and it is mic with a Lawton LS308 and a Heil PR30 and what you're hearing is what is coming out of the cab so let's hear how this thing sounds. Now the C1 EX Baritone is a 27 inch scale and features a thin C neck shape, 24 extra jumbo stainless steel frets, a graph tech nut, and some custom uh, apocalypse humbuckers that are made by Schechter. And they have a nice mid range to them. They're kind of quacky, but in a real musical way, I actually really, really like the stock pickups. It's a shame that I'll eventually be taking them out. I will definitely be saving them to put them back in if I ever wanted to, but otherwise this is a set neck construction with a multi-piece uh, neck, which is very, very nice feeling and it is very, very stable, which is an issue that my old Schecter Baritone had. The neck would just do all sorts of crazy stuff once uh, you, through your hand warmed it up. This does not do that. This is also a very, very good weight. This is about nine pounds of guitar and it is all heavy.
So what do we think? I think I'm really stoked to have a new pickup demo guitar. Also, shout out to Adam at Schecter Guitar Research for hooking me up with this new demo guitar. You guys will be seeing plenty of it for a couple of planned future videos. And uh, yeah, overall, this is a really, really cool guitar. Um, it's an, a Swamp Ash body. I didn't mention at the top of this video, which I don't think I own any Swamp Ash guitars. So that's a nice treat. It has, um, I think part of that quackiness I was talking about earlier uh, might be coming from the ash. Typically, Swamp Ash is a little brighter. This is definitely not a muddy guitar, which makes sense because it's a baritone, so it cannot be muddy. But overall, this has been a really, really sick guitar. And uh, yeah, let's pop some pickups in it and do a couple of pickup demos, shall we? I will link down below in the description if you would like to check out more information on this and all Schecter guitars. And with that, You've been wonderful, I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you, and then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also, I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff, there's all sorts of links to all sorts of things, so consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.